Hi beauties, driver back. Welcome back to Coco Cares. Um, if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, I appreciate your loyalty. Um, so y'all, well, this channel is about accountability. Um, that's really big on my heart because it's something that I had to grow into and I'm still growing into. Y'all know what I say, like, I don't feel that you have ever arrived. I feel like until the day you die, you will be growing and excelling in some area if you choose to but um just taking accountability over yourself over your action over your mind so that you're aware of the decisions um and the situations that you end up in and you're not just you know allowing stuff to happen and then when things get real it's like oh well you know time to grow up because a lot of times it's too late by then and the people who really suffer are the children. And if we're gonna have healthy, happy, home, whole families and children, then we have to start with ourselves. And um, so if that interests you, then ride along with me in this growth journey. Everything I talk about is something that I'm working in or that I've worked in. I'm really still working in all of it, so. <laughs> Yeah, but um, what I'm talking about today, y'all, um, is the standard of beauty. And this is so dear to my heart because I really had to grow in my understanding of this and in my confidence of this. I feel that we have, um, well, obviously there's, you know, your mainstream beauty and what society says um, is beautiful, what Hollywood says is beautiful. And then that's really what we're trying to base ourselves off of. And instead of uh, taking a step back and understanding um, or even figuring out what does beauty mean to you? What is beautiful? Where does it come from? Where does it start? Um, what will work for me? We just try to see what people are liking and what people are gravitating to and then attach that to ourselves and it don't really work. Sometimes we end up looking more messed up than we thought. We wish we could push the rewind button and now you're just like, SOL. But um, um, these are some tips that I, it's more of a mindset that I feel like I had to go into in identifying, you know, beauty according to my standards and according to me and what that really meant. And I really, I feel like everything starts from the inside. Um, beauty is highly attached to confidence. And when you um, feel good and you look good, you act good, you know, you act different. When um, the image in your mind is an image that you are walking in, you know, like you, you sit a little bit taller, you, you um, speak a little bit differently. And so I don't think that beauty is just the way you look because anybody can look good and you just look like a plastic Barbie or a plastic Ken, but you're 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 almost not human, you know? Nobody can even talk to you or relate to you because you can't mess up your makeup or you can't get you know get creases or you can't get wrinkles and you're almost you almost have this self righteousness of, oh you look so good. Um, but really your insides are terrible. And if we really get down to the nitty gritty, that is what creates lasting relationships in any arena, your insides, who you are as a person, how you treat people, um, and how you uphold yourself. And so beauty for me is not just the face, you know, it's not just the way you look. Beauty for me is a whole body encompass, you know, I feel as though um, it's not about being able to look a certain way one time. It's about being able to look a certain way forever, being able to main a standard of excellence, you know, being able to sustain something. And so when you start thinking about that, I think that's when you really have to take a deep dive into, um, okay, let me, let me go off my points because y'all, I could just start rambling and this video will be like 30 minutes long. <laughs> Um, okay, so one, that's where you first have to identify the look or the presence that you want to give to the world. Like we are all judged in the first five seconds of meeting people or someone meeting us. And um, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, your presence speaks volume about who you are. 
and your presence really showcases the person that or, or what's going on on the inside because what's going on on the inside comes out on the outside if you're someone who's like i don't care a lot of times that's seen in the way you your maintenance is or the way you dress and stuff so when thinking about beauty, what that means to you, it's like, okay, what individual do I want to be? You know, what do I want to represent? When people look at me um, and they look at my legacy, what do I want them to see? And then go out and embody that. Like, I think beauty is about taking ownership and responsibility over your life and not being lazy. You know, a lot of times um, we'll have, uh, it, this is a quick little scenario. Okay, so you'll have people who, um yo they'll only do their toes in the summer you know because it's like well in the winter nobody's gonna see them i'm gonna be wearing boots or i'm gonna be wearing socks um but it's more about the mindset you know it's like if you are a person of upkeep then you should be doing your toes all the time regardless if someone's gonna see them or not because it's about who you are as a person how you think your insides and that's translating on the outside you never know if you have to go to the beach in the winter because you have to rescue somebody you know you never know so like you want your toes to look good but that's when you start thinking about beauty it's not about like being able to look good for an event or a gala it's about how do you present yourself monday through friday you know monday through sunday um how are you um disciplining yourself to make those actions to create those habits so that you whenever someone sees you or even whenever someone thinks thinks of you or talks about you they're like oh yeah she's a person who upkeeps herself he's a person who upkeeps himself um the second one is analyze yourself and what you look like hold on let me read this analyze yourself what you look like um what you like and what you don't like and learn how to enhance what you like um so for what i did for me at this time i stood in the mirror and i just looked at my face and analyzed my face and analyzed um you know i was like okay you know i really like my cheekbones i really like my lips i love my big eyes you know i have my dad's nose and he has a big nose <laughs> Um, but I, okay, I used to have a problem with my nose, but I love my nose now because I'm like, this is a nose of power. <laughs> but, um, I was like, okay, let me emphasize the things that I do like, you know, instead of slapping all this makeup on my face and don't get me wrong, y'all, I love makeup. I used to be the queen of like beat your face. Um, but then I moved to a really hot climate and you would just look like you're sweating. So it was not cute, but, um, instead of slapping all this makeup on it's like okay what can i um enhance that's going to really showcase the things that i like um so now i really i'm uh i'm obsessed with skincare and that's really how i got into learning oh that's the last point but that's really how i got into learning what worked for me and enhancing um in my strengths because i had really bad acne and so i learned how to do makeup because i wanted to cover it up but i was like instead of just trying to you know cover up the problem let me get to the root of the issue let me focus on my skincare let me invest in good products let me start getting facials because all you're doing when you put foundation on is trying to create an even canvas so then you can start doing your work you know so it's like if i can have an even canvas an even canvas then i can just emphasize and accentuate what i want and like for me that's like my cheekbones or uh, my eyes i don't have anything on right now so cheekbones looking like cheekbones um my eyes or like my lips or anything like that so that's why i say like look at yourself and um see what you like and what you don't like and then from sorry guys my phone is about to fall and y'all know i don't edit these so you're gonna get a little wobbliness in this <laughs> just bear with me i love you guys <laughs> um okay the the third one is understanding what works for you um that like what, what i was saying you guys like a lot of times we see what is in the mainstream and what is popular you know what people are going to and we just try to um relate that back to ourselves but if it doesn't work for us we nine times out of ten looking more looking more crazy than we do trying to look good but we be walking around here like confidence on high too walking around here looking a straight mess looking like clowns so um 
evaluate what works for you you know like if you do like lashes instead of having like bat wings or anything um either invest in yourself and get a classic set um or invest in start researching like what kind of mascaras or what kind of techniques you can use with your own lashes to just emphasize that and enhance that i know a really good mascara that oh my gosh does the job better than sex by Too Faced. Is, I think it's Too Faced or Born This Way. I think it's Too Faced. Um, but that, I don't know what they, they put just, they, mm, I don't know what they do to that mascara, but Jesus made that, that product. And so, um, you know, start researching products and even shades and stuff that are going to complement you and enhance you and skincare products and stuff like that and set up little routines and regimens that are going to benefit you in the long run. So, it's it's like when you're getting ready to go out, you can do less, but it is more, you know, instead of trying to do all this work and you still look like you rolled out of bed. Um, and then lastly, this might be like, y'all might think I'm crazy, but I, I live by this. Um, okay, one, stay off social media. Like, I'm just now really cutting back on social media. Um, except for like my business accounts, but my personal accounts, I'm really cutting back because I'm like, sometimes it just really doesn't serve your mind. You know, it really, it really doesn't serve your mind. And then um, start investing in saying affirmations. I believe you are what you think and how you think is going to really direct the way that you act. And if you, okay, like for instance, if you um, have a bigger nose or if you have bigger lips and you don't really like it, if you start telling yourself like, my nose is beautiful, my nose is strong, you know, this is the nose of my ancestors, <laughs> you know, or, or my lips are gorgeous and stuff, your nose is not automatically, automatically going to get small, you know, your lips are not automatically going to get small or grow or whatever, but it is going to change the way that you start seeing yourself because you're going to be rewiring your subconscious mind and not just looking at um, what the mainstream, what features the mainstream has deemed acceptable and be like, oh, well, my nose doesn't look like this, so it must not be acceptable, or my lips don't look like that, so they must not be acceptable. Your your mind is going to be like, no, you look good, you know, because you have been um, telling yourself something and you are what you think, you know, you are what you believe, you you aren't what other people tell you you are, Um and this is just, just a bonus tip. Get delivered from the thoughts and the, and the sayings of others. You know, honestly, they have no merit on your lifestyle, what you're, how you're going to live. Or at the end of the day, nobody's paying your bills but you. And so grow your own confidence in ways that's going to help you perform better and look better and go out there and execute on a higher level, okay? So I love you guys. I'm holding my phone right now, so normally I blow you guys kisses, but there's one. Um, just take what I said and uh, meditate on it. If you guys have any other tips that you think people can learn from, put it down in the comment box. Um, or if you have anything that I can learn from, because this is a growth community altogether. Um, I'd love to hear from you. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.